Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I am completely stepping out of my comfort zone, like jumping out of it actually and doing a man card. I don't usually do them. If you look back in all my YouTube videos, you'll find they're normally pretty florals and pretty pinks and purples and it's very, very rare for me to jump into doing a man card. But I've done it because I fall in love with this Wildlife Wonder Cling Stamp Set from the new mini catalogue. I think it's gorgeous. Um, I love all of it and I also love the definition when you actually stamp with it. And as soon as I saw it in the catalogue, I added it to my basket before even thinking that I would have to make a card with it. Um, I just loved it. So I've used it today to create a guy card and it was dead easy because look, they've got a stamp to a great guy. So it told me I am doing a man card and this is the card that I have done. I love it. It's like Arcala from the Jungle Book. I think it's so cute. And I have used a load of new products with this. If you notice this circle here has got some lovely embossed effect on it. That is from the new Beautiful Shapes dies. So I'm going to show you those. And then I have done the background with the Hive 3D embossing folder. So I'm going to show you that. I've also used this new ribbon. So this is the window pane check ribbon from the mini catalogue as well. So lots of new products going into this one. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you're going to need a colour of background card, um, whichever colour you like. So for this one, I'm actually going to step it up and I'm going to use Misty Moonlight. I had used Shaded Spruce before, but now I'm going to be using Misty Moonlight. And I'm actually going to change the ribbon I use. So before I used the window pane check ribbon to go with this one. For this one, I'm going to be using the denim ribbon to go with this one. Also from the new mini catalogue. Honestly, so much new stuff on my desk today. I am just playing and having a whale of a time doing it. So this is the Hive 3D embossing folder. I think it's really effective and it's got these sort of like nicks in it at certain points, which just helps add to the effect. Love it. So I'm just going to pop my card in there, pop that down. I'm going to run it through my big shot, which is just a side of my screen. It's a normal size embossing folder. So unfortunately it doesn't work with my mini. I can fit my mini in my videos to show you, but I cannot fit the um, big shot in unfortunately it just hits the top of the desk so um, unfortunately with that one I can't do it but let me just whisk that through done whizzed there's my embossing folder and look at that isn't it beautiful now you can use this one or two ways because I wasn't quite sure which way I wanted to use it you can use it this way or you can turn it over and use it that way, which I think is just as gorgeous. <laughs> I know, I had trouble. I just didn't know which way I wanted to use it, but I decided in the end I was gonna use it this way up, but really up to you. And as well as it being a hive, I also think it could double as like a pebble dash or sort of like a fish card because I think it looks like scales. So there's so many uses for this. Right, next up is the stamping. So you're gonna want a piece of basic white scrap cardstock i've got a piece just here and you're going to be stamping this wolf down i've already put it onto a block and i'm going to be using a basic gray ink for this i specifically didn't want any black i thought it would be too harsh but i still wanted everything to stand out on the card so i'm using basic gray and look at this okay so as soon as I stamp it, I'm going to pick it up for you to see. But honestly, I don't think I can tell you just how gorgeous this stamp set is. Okay, all I'm doing is stamping it. Look at the definition that has come out on that. You saw all I did was put it into the ink, put it onto the paper, and it did all of that by itself. How good does that make me look? And I didn't do anything. Amazing, Lo love this set. While my ink's out, I'm gonna do my um, sentiment as well. So this is three centimeters by six centimeters um, piece of basic white. And I am just gonna put my two a great guy sentiment on at the very edge of it over here. And that font, everything, it's just, 
I'm telling you right now, love this set. I think I'm going to be making a lot more man cards too. So what I'm going to do to make this into the tail, dead simple, I've done this like a million times on my videos, is you just want to go eyeball roughly where the middle is and just do a nice snip up there. And then you want to go from the corner to where the end of that snip was and from this corner to where the end of that snip was. And that creates your tag. Dead simple, dead simple. So now I've got the beautiful shapes dies. These are gorgeous. These come with the Hello Beautiful stamp set, which is also really, really lovely. Um, but it's got all these cool patterns and shapes in. So I think this is going to be one of our new basic ones. I'm hoping so anyway. Um, you know where you have your basic layering circles and things like that. This is just great. You've got your hex skins in it. Um, and this one here, if you can see, it's got the stitched effect around. You've also got the stitched effect on the oval. But that circle is the one we're using. And you're just going to put it over your wolf and run it out. Now, I'm going to do it on my big shot as well, just because my big shot was out from earlier. And my mini is like just over there, so it saves me bringing it in. But it will fit in the mini as well. So I'm just going to run that through my big shot will be two whole seconds and i'll be back with you and we'll wait until you see how, well i think i already showed you actually an in introduction to the video but this is just gorgeous can you see isn't that beautiful it's something that from a distance you don't overly see, but as soon as you bring your card close, it's just an added extra dimension to the card, which I love. Next up is your ribbon. So you'll want to look at where you're going to be putting your sentiment, and I'm going to be putting mine there, about the same place as that one. So around where the middle is, you want to put a strip of glue, which is just there for me. Okay, run your ribbon over leaving about half a centimetre at each side. And it's dead easy to make sure you get it straight. Why? Because you just follow along with the embossing folder. Oh, it's like they're making it dead simple for us. <laughs> okay. Put some seal on there. run that over and now I'm just going to grab my base card stock so I have got my um base basic white here and I'm just going to score it at ten and a half centimeters oh no light gray for scoring <laughs> almost cut it almost cut it there we go folder just to burnish it Tombow just to make sure it really well and truly sticks now I'm using Tombow on this rather than my tape runner because I want it to get into all of the um, all of the nooks and crannies from the embossing folder I just really want to make sure that it, it sticks down flat just going to restick that ribbon as well because I just noticed that popped out. Oh, now stick, thank you. And I'm just going to apply that onto the card. You want to be really careful with the cardstock once you have embossed it because it's going to go a lot weaker because you've crushed those pigments and those fibres together in the card. So that's why it had gone bendy. So you just want to be careful that when you put it down, you have stuck it all the way and it's not going to tear or rip back off. Okay, finally, you want to come in with your dimensionals. or oh, got mine just here. And I'm going to pop them onto here and stick this down like that I'm going to pop them on the back of my wolf 
and stick him down. Isn't he just beautiful, honestly? This set just jumped in the basket. I didn't have to see anyone use it because normally like I get sold by the pictures that are in the catalogue and thinking, oh, do you know what? They're really nice or whatever. But this just sold itself just from the images on the stamp set. And then was the panic. Oh, I've got to make a card with the pretty set. So teeny tiny little bow. I haven't put any um, rhinestones or dimensionals or bits and pieces of embellishments on here because uh, you know me, <laughs> I would make it pretty. <laughs> and I would put the pretty glittery ones on and then I'd be like, oh, you've made it an in-between male female card and you were going for macho. So uh, I didn't and I've just literally stuck with the ribbon and the bow, which I think I get away with. So there we go. There is the card using the Wildlife and Wonder Cling Stamp Set. What do you think? Unusual, right, for me? But yeah, I, I love it. I think it works. If you've liked this set, do give me a comment below. Say hello. Let me know you're here. Do pop back for other videos. And don't forget, everything I have used on my video today is available from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. See you all again soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.